This is Jim Janesey. I'm trying a little something new in terms of the preview for the five chapters that we'll be taking a look at in Unit 5. This unit wraps up the course, and what you're looking at right now is this preview. This is a video, but it's made up just of slides. In the past, I used to do these by actually looking at a camera and introducing this material, but I thought this might be a little more informative. So I'm going to step through this in a slight bit of animation. We're looking at chapter 21 in the story of art by Ernst Gombrich. And in this chapter, he's telling us a lot about art and architecture in Italy in the 17th century. That's from about 1650 to 1750. What I've circled in red now is the preview you're looking at. There's a new type of a preparation sheet that I've prepared. It actually lists the true-false statements in the exercise question dedicated to Chapter 21. In this last unit, there are only three questions on the exercise, so when you take a look at this prep document that I've got circled in red, you'll notice in Chapter 22 it's the same document, and the same thing occurs with Chapters 24 and 25. I suggest you print this prep document and you have it on your mind as you're doing the remainder of the activities for the unit so that you can pick up information along the way and use it as notes when you do the exercise. The slide prints exist with this set of materials also and as I've indicated in the past you really should print these copies of the slides for this chapter's lecture. They're printed three up so they're fairly compact I strongly suggest you use them to take notes from the lecture and the videos and your reading. The lecture for this chapter consists of just one video. This is a fairly brief chapter. I've included two videos here for you that are very short live tours of two significant places mentioned in this and the next chapter's readings. The Church of Iliesu in Rome has very dramatic Baroque ceiling paintings and you'll see a, a picture of it in this chapter but this short video tour narrated by three students who walked through it recently in Rome is really going to give you a much better idea of the grandeur of this church. Melk Monastery comes up in chapter 22 but this short video by Rick Steves is also excellent in getting you familiar with the exterior and the interior of this landmark Baroque construction. At this point, I'd strongly suggest you print the prep sheet and the three-up slides, then go ahead and view the lecture and the videos.